Hello there, today I'm going to show you all how to use the Accolades device, costing 292 memory on first place and 19 afterwards. The Accolades device can be used to grant players EXP for completing specific actions. Please note this only works on published islands. Let's go over the settings for this device. Alright, let's look at the settings for the Accolades device. Starting with the name and the description, you can set that to whatever you want. The name will appear larger than the description, obviously. Limit award count will make sure you do not get bombarded with awards for doing completely simple actions that don't need it. The next setting is the XP award amount. This just determines how much XP you get per grant, but please note this does work on a system of diminishing returns, so the more times you grant it, the less XP you'll be getting each grant. Splash size determines how large the the actual XP like propped on screen is, that tells you how much XP you get. Uh, typically, you should probably just set it to automatic, which will automatically set the splash size based on how much XP you are earning. Icon identifier. There are tons and tons of icons you can pick. This will just be an icon that displays alongside your message at the top of the screen. Um, so in your message, you will have your title, description, and that image. You can set the size with the previous setting, and it will also show how much XP you've got. Next up is enabled during phase, which basically means whenever the device is enabled. Um, typically you want set to gameplay only, but none can also be used if you enable it using trigger channels. Um, all means even pre-game on published islands is fair game and even when you're creating, but I don't think that applies to this device, so don't trust me on that. Pre-game only, I don't recommend it, but it's there if you want it for like a secret or something. Alright, triggering player only. Yes or no. Alright, so to explain this, I have a little visual example. So this right here is Billy. He is on team two. And he is the one who's triggering his accolades. If this option is set to no, then everyone on his team will receive the rewards. But if it's set to yes, let's say that Tommy here um, triggers the accolade, he, only he will get the rewards. No one else will because he was the one who triggered it. Next up is team and effects team. And so for the effects team, we can set, let's say we set it to team one only selected. That means that only team one will be able to trigger the Accolades device, but all but selected means that everyone but team one can interact with this device. And so you can set the team to any only selected, which means that any, everyone, everyone will be able to activate this. And you can just um, do things like that to influence what teams have access to the Accolades device. The same goes with classes. Award when receiving from, which is a, can be set to any channel, and basically that will award the XP and have a pop up at the top of the screen. So what we can do is we can do something like with the Elimination Manager, set this to channel 498. So on Elimination, it'll transmit 498, and then on here we can make it so that it awards on 498, which means the person that eliminates someone triggered the channel and they will get the XP award. Enable and disable when receiving from. So enabling when receiving from, I can enable it on a channel, but this will only work if the device is already disabled, which you can do with the setting above, enable during phase, set that to none, which will disable at the start of the game. When the device is disabled, it will not like actually work. It won't like do anything with the signals. So if you like set a channel on 498, it will not actually award the XP until the device is enabled. Lastly, would have awarded transmit on is basically just a testing channel. So you can use it to test out your thing without having to actually publish the map. All right, now we're going to be setting up an Accolades device so it awards XP on elimination. So we're going to set the Accolades device settings first. Firstly, the name could be whatever you want it to be. The description is the same, whatever the heck you want. Limit award counts up to you. XP award, I recommend it on the smaller side. If you do larger XP amounts, it'll just seem it's just a little bit excessive. And also, it's going to be unnecessary because of diminishing returns. Splash size, set that to automatic, doesn't really matter. Icon identifier is up to you, but I would recommend using something like an assault rifle or something like that since this is eliminations. Make the icon match what you're doing. Enabled during phase is gameplay only. Triggering player only, yes. Yes, yes. Because you want to only XP only given to the person who actually eliminated the player, and then you can scroll down. Those don't matter. Teams of class don't matter unless you're like need to do it, like need to mess around with it. Award I'm receiving from is you can put it on any channel that is free, and you can do the same with would have awarded. Next up, I'm going to set the elimination manager. So let's start. Enable a game start. Yes. 
um, as long as you're like that's how you're doing things and then we're gonna scroll down to target type players only I'm pretty sure that is default but you can set to whatever you want depending on what you're like really doing if you're like eliminating like creatures on a creatures map you can set to like creatures but then at that point you should probably use a tracker um, then we're gonna scroll down all the way to the bottom none of this stuff matters unless if you're like having the maps that need the specific class or team to on elimination transmit on and our channel is channel 69 so we're going to do that again and now when a player eliminates someone it will transmit on channel 69 and it will give the xp some other recommendations could be to set the small uh, splash size to small and to limit the award count by doing so you'll get a second option that will allow you to select how many times um, you can have the award given to the player so you the players just not getting spammed with xp notifications next up we're going to set an accolades device to link up with a tracker this can be used to set like a multiple elimination goals like get three eliminations for some xp and things like that and it can be used for a ton of other variety of things such as like scores and fishing and distance traveled so let's start with the accolades just name it whatever you want whatever you're really doing so like fishing woohoo and limiting the award count is up to you yes most likely if this is like a quest then yes but no if this is like a repeated action that you want players to get awarded for xp award is up to like how frequently they're getting it if, they're, if this is like a very easy frequent task set the very small but if this is like a hard task set to like larger amounts the splash size should probably be automatic but like it obviously just depends on the xp award but definitely automatic for the icon whatever you're setting like whatever it's about make it the icon match what it is so for example we're doing fishing so fish and then we're going to scroll down so most of this stuff doesn't really matter but tricking player only should be yes unless this is like a team effort which we can set later award we're receiving from we're going to set that channel 420 as long with the other thing make sure the channel is a free channel now stat track for this one we are going to do fish fished uh, reset between rounds should be yes target value is up to you it just depends on how much fish you want these people to fish or how many players you want to kill or whatever the stat is valid team any you can set this to whatever you want assign a game start no and if you do that if you set that to that you have to you have to actually assign it from a channel but if this is like something from the start of the game you can just assign it at the game start and Sharing is up to you. Individual or team is most likely what you want to do. And if you're going to set the team, you're going to have to go onto the other one and make sure that everyone gets the award. But sharing all is typically not my fancy. Um, target team, target class is for if you're doing eliminations and you want to have it so that you eliminate a certain team. When the target is reached, you should complete the tracker. And winning team does not matter for this because that's we're not using that setting because that would be for the end round setting but you should probably set it to complete tracker you can show on hud if you want tracker title is whatever you want it'll appear on the side of your screen if you have to show hud on and description is also whatever you want uh and then we're gonna scroll down all right um assign when receiving from is only useful set this to a free channel if you have the assign on game start set to no if you do that then set the channel to like something like 500 whatever is a free channel and we can do that later and also we can scroll all the way down to when complete transmit on 420 so that you get the xp whenever the tracker is complete thank you guys so much for watching my tutorial on how to use the accolades device if you have any questions please ask in the comments i will try my best to help you out thank you so much and if you enjoyed it subscribe bye bye